Hey love bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Uh, just being able to resonate with each other is truly a blessing and knowing that our community is growing by the day is so gratefully you know, appreciate it, and it's such a beautiful blessing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, I would love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if you drop a line about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just up tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video is very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one family or friend please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to you know resonate with the content of my video and today this beautiful meditation music i'm listening to in the background um is by ms mr miracle manifestation music it's called manifest miracles in your life enter the flow state asmr 3d binary cricket sounds and it has that person in the lotus position it's so beautiful i love the way they do these graphics on here um, but the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Uh, hey, Ocas, when Source uses you to help others in their time of need. Y'all, it's been so beautiful to know. You know, when I, like I said before, you know, I don't know if you watched the video when I was talking about, you know, I, I didn't feel like I had confidence enough to be able to, um, well, I had a piece of hair on my face, I'm sorry, um, being able to uh, do what I do. You know, um, I was just like, when I first started this out, I was just like, what am I doing? You know, um, I would just like smoke my trees and it's just like, you know, universe would come to me about certain things that they wanted me to talk about. And I was just like, okay, you know, I hope this is going to be helping some people. I don't know. You know, these are the things that I messed up and having, you know, my mess ups and, you know, just placing it on videos and didn't realize <laughs> How many people I started helping and people were talking about you oh, you're telling my story or you're in my head and you know all these things is really crazy that you're you know that you're talking about because it's like I'm there right now and it's just like a beautiful blessing that you know source is allowing me to do the things that I do because like I said I've always wanted to be able to help the world one some kind of way or another being able to have people have that peace and understanding and a happiness in their life. And when I said that was like 319, I love that number. Uh, when you can be able to do that, it's just like being able to help people and just let them know, you know, you're not alone. You know, you're not crazy. You're just in that awakened state. You know, when you're in that awakened state, you'll start seeing how things connect, start seeing how things need to be changed. You know, you were probably already like that anyway, but it took something very tragic to enter your life for you to be able to start seeing things in a new, different way. So it's just like going through all these things has been a beautiful blessing to me. Being able to help people knowing I'm helping myself at the same time because it's like at first I thought I was going to have to be that one that heals all the way and then I have to be able to help other people but it's like no that's not how we want you to do it we want you to be able to have your mistakes learn from your mistakes educate people on the mistakes that you made and allow them to know that they are not by themselves other people are making these same mistakes too and I'm just like you know what I got it I, hey we're here we're here <laughs> we're here I can do this I got this and it's a beautiful blessing because it's just like you know y'all drop these lines to me I even go back to my old videos on how I do stuff and I was like you know what this is so embarrassing I was like high as giraffe ass on the video and people are still listening to me even though I was like it was not like I was talking out of the side of my neck 
but it was like that was how I got more in tune with my spiritual self you know I said I have no problems with that I have no qualms with it I mean if other people got a problem with it that's not my problem but I tell people yeah I used to smoke and get in touch with my higher self that's how you I got to my higher self is being high but now it's just like that's not my life anymore I can just meditate and pray and then that's how things come to me because it's just like you know there's there is empaths like I tell people if you're an empath and you never smoked you never drank you never smoked weed or you never been on a dangerous drug you're you a good one you are a good one and it's like I've had all different walks of life done told me they, they did things you know and I don't I don't judge anybody because it's like who the heck am I to judge I'm not God only God, God can judge people but it's like I used to be a pill popper I'm not gonna lie you know then I went from pills because when I came here down south you had to go through different stages of therapists pain management for you to be able to get pills because when I was in the Midwest it did not take much all you had to do is just go to the doctor have all kind of aches and pains or if it's somebody you got a pretty face and you got the right body with right body parts oh they'll give you anything you wanted here you can't do that you know so it was a blessing for me to move here because I promise you there are so many of my friends in the Midwest that I found out has died of overdoses and it's just like and just the fact is my dad had had that happen to him it, it's just like it allowed me to see where my life would have ended at you know and it was just like when you can be open enough to tell somebody yes I used to be addicted to something I mean I you know I mean if you want to judge me or whatever like I said when things start coming out you know people tend to want to Google people to see oh lord let me find let me see what kind of dirt you can find you can find whatever dirt you put you want to put out on me it's not like I ain't already said it myself you know so I really didn't care but it's just like it's who it, it made me to be at this present time being able to learn from the mistakes being able to say you know what I was addicted because I was a you know I went through a lot of abuse I went through a lot of things that at that age like I was telling you about the stuff that I was going through with my mom when she had passed away nobody realized I was in my early 20s when I had to deal with something like that I had to be a big adult to try to you know sign papers on my mom you know having surgeries which is like that was a lot on me because you having to do that I'm always so used to my parents you know when they were you know when they were married when we had you know family members that were in some certain type of things and they needed to be that one to make decisions like that I never been through anything like that so it was like when my mom had to get a trach in her throat or, you know, they had to have permission for me for them to do surgery on her head. I'm just like, man, I'm, I'm, you know, labeling my mom's life. You know, I don't know. It's just like, can I sign this and end up, this would be end up killing my mom. I had to do this at like 25 or 26. That was like, you know, I when I say I've been through some stuff, I've been through some stuff. So hell yeah. If you did if I went through all that and I didn't have a drink or I ain't popped a pill or whatever, and I you know, I, I hey, I'm that superwoman, I promise you. But it's just like you know, I tell my kids, I mean, I have no problem with them knowing it's just like I remember my family used to always tell me, You shouldn't let your children know everything that you do. No, I'm allowed them to know certain things that they need to know because this is life this is what happens especially a life like mine you know I didn't have that picket fence with the perfect family and all that stuff I've been through a lot of stuff so it's just when you can you can be able to lay your story your life story out on the line and let people know yes you're related to a celebrity yes you have went about all these things I, I mean I have no problem with telling you because it's just like my, my family used to always tell me you might be famous one day don't you think the things that you've done you might be embarrassed about and they used to really make me feel like I should fear because fear of what people think of me because of the things that I used to do back when I was younger who did not do some stupid stuff when they were young that's all about us finding out what life is about when our parents told us not to do stuff we're like well now we're trying to figure out why did they used to tell us no just because they told us no I'm gonna go ahead and find out what happened you know I no, find out what happened yeah we were dumb we did start certain stuff like that if you didn't you hey you know you, you had that good life you know but I was that curious child I did certain things just to find out what things were you know did a lot of things that I'm not proud of but it made me who I am and I'm just like you know and a lot of people and I guess that's the reason why a lot of people 
and that's with me in a long way like that because they're like Rosalind when I get on one on ones with them they're like Rosalind you keep it real you don't lie about what <laughs> what am I gonna say I mean you can tell me you can talk about me whatever you want to it doesn't matter but it's like when people tend to talk about you that's when they're trying to find fault in your life when they're not trying to fix their own so it's just like when you can actually sit up here and tell your life story and say yes I did this yes I did that yes I did that I no longer do it you know just like I was let, let y'all know yeah I went Bob Marley yesterday I, I didn't feel like I fell off the wagon because it's just the fact is it's not something I was craving at that time I was just like shoot this is my birthday I don't drink I don't smoke I don't do nothing you know, I just deal with everything when it comes to me in a sober mind. It's my birthday, and I was just like, universe was like, we know, you know, you don't, we don't want you doing this, but just since we already know you're gonna be rising, you're gonna do what you want to do anyway, and we're gonna see, sit back and watch what your reaction is gonna be. We'll wait, and I'm just like, man, this mess got me paranoid. Got my heart beating fast. This ain't my life no more. <laughs> this is not my life no more. I cannot do this. I will not do this. I will not. I will not. Because it makes me feel like I'm back in this 3D world and I be damned. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't wait for the 4 to the 5D. There is no way I can sit up here and do this. And I'm just looking at folks like, you know, hey, this is all you. Don't don't get me wrong. I ain't trying to look like I'm beneath you are beneath me or anything like that. But there ain't no way in hell I can sit up here and go back to this life anymore. I've been sober for too long. And it's just like some people can do that and go right back to their old ways. It's like, I don't like that old Rosalind. <laughs> I was like, no. I like it when I, you know, because I felt stuck. I was like, they were like, what's wrong with you? I feel stuck. <laughs> I feel so stuck. And I'm just like, no. I, there is no way. There is no way. And I'm, I can see my dad like, okay. I'm going to see how you're going to react to this. I'm, I'm going to wait. And I see my dad looking at me. And I mean, he gave me that look like he was blinking a lot. When he usually do that blinking, it's like, I don't like it when he blinks like that. Because I know he's saying so much in his head. So I'm just like, well, you don't ever have to worry about that happening again. He's like, okay. I was just waiting. <laughs> I was just waiting. Because it's like, you know, I can, you know, I can be proud of myself. And I'll say, you know what? I didn't fall off the wagon because it wasn't like... I was saying, oh my God, I need this, I need that. If I don't, you know, if I don't, you know, I can't deal with this right now. So I want to go light one up. And it was just like, no, you know, you don't, you're not a social drinker, you know, just because people drink around you. I mean, I can, you know, I can even see somebody smoking a cigarette, don't bother me, but it's just the smell of it. I just can't deal with no more. But it was like yesterday was my birthday. I have every right to turn up if I want to, because it was my birthday. But it was just like, no. This is not the, this is not Rosalind anymore. <laughs> That's the old Rosalind. I'll be dead if I go back to that old Rosalind again. But it's just the fact when universe can actually bless me and say, you know what? We want you to be that torchbearer for somebody because it's like, you're not, I'm not, you're like, they're saying, okay, you're going to be leaving a lot of impasse. We just need you to help guide the ones that we send towards your way help them understand the reason why they go through the things they go through no they shouldn't be hard on themselves if they you know they stumble upon themselves because that is life you're learning from every mistake you have you're learning regardless if it was a good experience or a bad one it's a value of the experience so it's just like i can be honest and tell y'all yeah for my birthday i drank one wine cooler had a couple of puffs of a blunt didn't like it whatsoever. <laughs> I didn't enjoy myself. It was okay, but it was not okay. It was like, sorry, not sorry. No, I, mm -mm, I just can't. And I can be honest enough to say that, but I am good. There was just like, you know, because it, it was like a question in my mind. You know, if I ever had a chance to do this again, will I do it again? And now it's just like, okay, I tried it. And no. <laughs> I would not because it took me back down to that 3D mode and I can say you know what I'm so proud of myself any because I was like man I'm feeling guilty and I knew the universe they said that my dad was gonna send me a gift yesterday and that was my gift for me to be able to let myself know you were no longer in that state anymore and that was a blessing to me even though it, I did that and I really thought I was gonna be crying the next day like I'm good. I'm so good. But it's just like, I'm glad 
the universe has blessed me for me to be able to be that torchbearer. I'm glad that I can be able to tell y'all about my life experience and be open about it. Be honest. You know, there's a lot of things that I, you know, I don't have to tell y'all and I don't. You know, it just depends on if this is, okay, it's a need to know basis. It's a need to know that, if, you know, if you go down a path and you have mistakes, whatever, it'll let you know, let you see what new life you're starting and back in that old life and you go back to that old life again from everything that you know now and try to go backwards you're looking like what the heck no uh-uh uh-uh be like kevin hart no she run ready no <laughs> you're not going to want to do it you're not going to want to do it at least i know i didn't but i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video it's already past 15 minutes so i'm not going to give my outro because it's already going to take like two and a half days just for this slow stuff to upload so i will see you on my next video much love to you peace and be wise